Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, we are going to do, there's this challenge going around on YouTube called the Pantry Challenge, but you guys know I cleaned my pantry out a few months back. I'll link that video up here. And also now I don't eat sugar or flour, so there's not a whole lot in the pantry that I do eat. But what I did was I pulled everything out of the fridge and I'm going to see if I can prepare meals. But I also went to the grocery store. You guys saw in the last video, in case you didn't see that one, where I did a $50 grocery budget challenge. I'll link that video up here. So I initially started off thinking, okay, maybe I'll spend like $50, but then I really started challenging myself and I wanted to see if I could spend the least amount of money as possible. So I ended up spending like $13 or something, but I'll show you everything that I have here out of my refrigerator. Then we'll go over and look at all of the things that I purchased for today. Then we will meal prep, put these meals together and see what we have for the week. Hope you enjoy this video. So these are the items that I pulled from both my refrigerator and my pantry. I've got a few rice cakes, some pesto, onion, dip, seasoning, whatever, some potatoes, some hummus, and I have some onion left from last week's prep, zucchini, some mayo, blueberries, cucumber, a little bit of celery, got some spinach, cream cheese, eggs, as well as carrots, some romaine, and I also went back to grab these from last week's meal prep that I didn't use. And here is what I purchased for today. You guys, these challenges are actually making me even more aware of my money and where my coins are going. So when I checked out, the total came to $15.93, and I was just like, I really thought I was gonna be under $15. So as I was reviewing my receipt, I noticed that the lady forgot to, she forgot that the meat, the pork that I bought today was buy one, get one free. And she also forgot to scan my $1 coupon off of the popcorn. So guess what I did? Oh yes, I went back. I went back to customer service and I was very nice, very kind. I was like, hey, I'm just curious. I was wondering, um, can you check this to see if she actually scanned um, my coupon. And also, can you just check to be sure that these rung up as buy one get one free because they were supposed to be? And sure enough, so I got, so I paid $15.93 the first time and then I got a refund, $2.36. That just made me so happy. <laughs> Let's see what that comes up to. So 15.93 minus 2.36. Yeah, so for the few items that I'm going to show you guys today, I only spent $13.57, but I say only, but it seemed like every little thing was coming up like $3, but let me flip the camera around and show you what I bought from Winn-Dixie. So here is the pork that I bought. I don't really eat a lot of pork, but I needed another protein source for the week. So this was $141 and this was $136, so I'm assuming this one was free. And I also picked up great tomatoes. I don't really care a whole lot for great tomatoes, but I will this week because they're buy one, get one free. And I did need them for um, this little zucchini pesto that I wanted to make. And I picked up some feta cheese for that pesto. I also bought an extra can of tuna. I already had one can of tuna. And I also had two cans of chicken. So that was over on the other side. Um, and I bought more popcorn. I actually do enjoy popcorn and um, I like to have a serving of popcorn. So I'm running out of salt. So I went ahead and picked up more salt. Okay, so another reason why I think that meal prepping is so important as far as for decision fatigue as well as to save money is because when you just look at these ingredients, it's like, what the heck? So if you come home from work, well, if I came home from work and like this is all I have, you know, I could kind of put something together, but just to think about it is, for me, it's a little bit overwhelming. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do as I was pulling things out is for breakfast, I think I'm going to do some scrambled eggs and potatoes. And then for my lunches and dinner. So I'm just looking at it as I need about four ounces of protein for lunch and four ounces of protein for my dinner. So Monday through Friday, or let's do Monday through Saturday. So that's six days. So 24 ounces of protein times two. So 48, that's kind of where my head is. And then as far as my veggies go, I try to eat a pound of veggies per day, so I'll definitely repeat my salads again, but I think I'll also have to have like some added veggies somewhere tossed in within the week, but we'll see how it goes. Today's a rainy day here in Florida, so I'm going to go ahead and prep all of this and I'll show you guys as soon as I'm done. Okay, so we've got the pork here, garlic and parsley, and then maybe a little bit of oregano and this table blend. 
I don't really use like recipes. I just use whatever I have on hand because it saves me money. And each time I try my food, I'm like, mm, mm, oh, nice surprise. This is a surprise for me, surprise for my family. I love it. <laughs> Actually, I think this is gonna be enough. I'm only putting this on top. Transporting it to my air fryer. This thing makes everything so much easier. Now that I have my bowl all cleaned out again, I'm going to um, scramble 10 eggs. We have like, sometimes we have, sometimes our ducks lay eggs, so I'll use those first so that I can put this container away. And then I'll use the remaining amount from this one. You guys, I literally want to cry right now. I just broke my food scale. I just dropped it. Uh, I was only trying to lay the potatoes. Oh my gosh. In the process of freaking out about my scale dropping, my eggs started to burn, but we're gonna eat them anyways. All right, so I just log into my Amazon account to see. I purchased that scale on November 8th, 2020. And when I bought it, it was $25.98. See how much it costs now, I'm so afraid. <laughs> oh, not bad. Okay, so it's currently $19.54. I'll put a link for it down in the description box. I love the scale. I don't, I love it. So I'm gonna rebuy the same one again. Alrighty, so now moving on to prepare my breakfast potatoes. Nothing fancy. All I will be doing here is cutting. I have six potatoes. So I'm just thinking like one for each day can't weigh them to see it's fine it's fine Felicia um yeah so I'm just gonna cut these keep them a little bit not cute just chop them and then along with the seasoning that I would put in with them as well All right guys, so it is now 3.27. I'm tired. <laughs> oh man, I love a good meal prep video, but like, dude, do you ever get tired? Um, So I've been cooking for like an hour and I would say that I'm more than halfway done. I have all of my proteins prepared. The eggs are done, chicken salad's done, the pork is done, the tuna's done. So all of that's taken care of. I need to prep a few salad and then the um, frozen veg frozen veggies. I don't have to cook those today. Like I could just cook them during the week. I just took them out so you guys knew like I had um, two additional sources of veggies. Um, I need to get up. There's other things that need to be done. I don't know if people like just straight meal prep and 
don't do other things in between, but I've been going strong for an hour. Consider this a halftime, halftime show. All right, let's get back to it. Um, currently I have the potatoes in the oven, so those will be done. Oh, the zucchini. I got the oil cooking, I gotta go. I sat down and forgot I had this oil heating up. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to pour the bulk of this out because there is also some oil inside of here. Um, and yes, it will be delicious in flavor, but it's also more calories. So I'm gonna pour some of this out. Okay, I went ahead and emptied that completely. And I'm going to put in two small spoons, two small spoons of this, and then toss it with the noodles, zucchini noodles. So I forgot to cut these. So um, once I put the camera down, I may burn my hands a little bit, but I'm gonna go in and cut these with the scissors. Okay, so now I wanna cook the spinach because it's about to go bad and it's five ounces. So I'll just use this as one serving of veggies one day along with the pork. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up and I'm gonna use the same pot that I cooked the zucchini in without even washing it. We're just gonna do it and I'll add in a little bit of cream cheese, but I'll, um, but I'll be sauteing it with water, like no oil. So this meal prep took me a total of about two hours. I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys a few of the meals I had Monday through Wednesday. Here was my breakfast on Monday. There's a before and after. <laughs> and then here was my lunch on Monday. I eat lunch in between seeing patients in my car. So that's what we have there. And then here was my dinner. Um, I got a little full, so I didn't finish all of it. And then Tuesday, here was my breakfast. And then again for lunch, this is what I had. And then Tuesday for dinner, I was feeling like some buffalo type style. So I just threw a ton of hot sauce in there. And then Wednesday, I was so hungry. This is the day that I um, lifted weights. So I was just like a hungry monster. And it was a long day of work. So you'll also see here where I picked up coffee. I don't like Duncan, but it was the closest thing to me. And then I had to edit videos. So I um, I just had like a light, a light dinner. And that was such a bad mistake because I ended up going back and I had the same thing again. So I actually had two servings of popcorn for Wednesday night, as well as um, another serving of the chicken salad. And I actually ended up going back and making myself a full-blown salad. So I should have just stuck to the program, stuck to what I always do, and like not try to cut corners even though I had a lot of work to do. I should have forced myself to sit down and just have dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!